You know what else I seen that I was gonna ask you about that Johnny Manziel man Sharp Johnny Sharp killed that interview. Oh, for sure. He killed that hoe. For sure. But you know Johnny, you know Johnny got away with a lot of shit because he was white, and we all know that shit. drunk ass Johnny. Drunk ass Johnny, Johnny got the Heisman, and but I, I, I like his honesty though. He letting the world know he was a drunk. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One One. One Yeah, we gon' talk. What? You made me watch Vlad TV the whole thing, nigga. How was the Vlad TV Vlad, interview? Vlad, Vlad cool, man. You guys got not gonna talk on that motherfucker with Vlad. He be asking you some police ass questions. <laughs> yeah. Vlad cool, man. Well, I just seen the interview. I watched it. You seem like you handled it very well. Uh, yeah, he was. You know, I, you know, people clip. They say how they want to clip it up. Oh, you know, wait a minute. Like it was a difference. Yeah, you know, cause you know it. it you, you'll say something Then you come back Another clip They make it like I would just continue To talk about Dwight Howard And I just really Wasn't just on that Like I was just telling Vlad You know you can say What you want about Dwight Howard But the boy was a Hall of Fame Boy Hall of Fame Boy that's NBA real. star I, ain't, I don't give a fuck About what he did In that bedroom That's just what he did That's what he do That's him But on this court Dwight Howard was a, uh, NBA Hall of Fame He should have been Top NBA 75 I stand by that Dwight Howard should be NBA top 75 player Wow, you know what else I seen that I was gonna ask you about that Johnny Manziel man Sharp Johnny Sharp killed that interview. Oh, for sure, he killed that hoe for sure. But you know Johnny, you know Johnny got away with a lot of shit because he was white, and we all know that shit. drunk ass Johnny, <laughs> drunk ass Johnny, Johnny got the Heisman. And but I, I, I like his honesty though. He letting the world know he was a f drunk. He did, and, 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 and they knew it back then, but they wasn't covering they it like that. They, they wasn't was covering it like that. that shit on the rug. But uh, respect to Johnny Manziel, got one of the the best uh one of the best quarterbacks that would come through Texas. I, right. I got to give him his credit on that. Wow. Like, did did you like uh when you how was it cuz I hadn't talked to you since Skip Bayless and y'all sat down together. Yeah. And will that ever happen again? Well, in I, the near future. Uh I don't know cuz the way it's looking uh the, the podcast taking over and they take on them over. certain shows like that you can't say what you really want to say okay. but on the podcast you can talk your talk the way you want to talk it and it seemed like the features the way it is now it's the way it's going now so it wouldn't surprise me it won't be long for ESPN and all them boys just trying to fade out the way that's why Stephen A. went and got his podcast going so he could say what he want to say on there that's real like, and I feel like what I'm doing and it's going to change the game because who, who needs ESPN and Skip Bayless now when I'm already giving y'all the report on the sports? It's too late. You see what I'm saying? That's you, real. It's all about now. Instant, instant. So by the time they come on TV and all this and that, I already done talked about it. Damn. But Damn. I see some people, although, you know, podcast is going the way how it is and people like it because of the freedom of speech, you have certain caliber, certain people that will only go to the radio stations, only go to certain people because they know that they are limited and they don't want to be asked certain things or they don't want to, you know? Yeah. So what do you think about that? Fuck them. <laughs> Do you do you? Well, let me ask you this: uh, You still gonna have to ride with the Cowboys next year? They got Jimmy Johnson as a consultant. Is that gonna change the game? Not a damn thing. What? Hell no. So a consultant. Uh, Doc River was consulting for that black coach up there in Milwaukee. <laughs> what they doing up there? Not a damn thing. <laughs> So uh, unless, unless Jimmy gonna come down and coach, ain't nothing gonna change. It ain't nothing gonna we change. We gonna be happy for a little while and sad in the motherfucker come January. Man, and and that's the whole game. I be tripping, I be tripping off the way they do in these sports. Man, don't seem like nothing be changing, but they act like it fit have just changed the game. Man, we ain't winning shit. Jerry Jones out here taking paternity tests. I was about to shit. ask you about that. We ain't Did that come shit. back yet? Is that his daughter? Yeah, that's his old ass dog. We know <laughs> that shit. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> that's his daughter, man. Oh damn, yeah, man! Yeah, Cause they said he had put up a trust somewhere anyway for her. I man, I don't. I mean, you know, and they got that bread. Yeah, he ain't tripping. Jerry paper's different. Man, um, I seen you in a picture with Boosie. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was Mike Epps mm -hmm. and it, who else? It was what, it just you. That was just y'all. What y'all yeah. got going? I, I mean, we just at Mike's house chilling, eating. Nigga had a live band in his house. Bro, was that real? Was that old TV real, my nigga? Yeah, that's real TV. Don't bro. play me, real my TV, nigga. bro. I seen that TV. I said nigga got a prop. Nah, ain't no prop. Real TV. Mike got like five houses on that block. How big I is heard that? About that? How big is that? To buy the block? It's dope. It's dope as fuck, man. It's inspiration for me. And real. Mike just bringing me on his wings and just teaching me the game and talking to me and just you know just being patient because 
he gets tell me just be patient for us for long. I'm gonna be running this shit, but I don't just want to run shit. I want I want to do it the right way. I want to bring other people that's mm-hmm. deserving, and and give them their shine as well. But I tell people right now they be hitting me up, Dub. I need you to do this and that, bro. I ain't even got my foot in the door yet. It just look like this. I'm on that's all real. grind right now. That's real. So, man, I, okay, you. You gonna be and I don't have all the particulars down in Mississippi. Did you that fly I seen it? Yeah. Where the hell is it at? Do you even know? All I, I know is in Meridian, Mississippi. It's in Meridian. I know they got good water down there where we going. <laughs> well, yeah, well, I'm not mm-hmm. doing nothing mm-hmm. down there, mm-hmm. man. No, we got good water where we going, goddammit. <laughs> we're, gonna work, we're gonna work on the rest of Mississippi. We're gonna make sure we get the right water down there and help y'all out. Cause we all need help. <laughs> but Meridian, Mississippi got good good drinking water. Good drinking God water. Damn right. We gonna be down there what the twenty sixth. April twenty sixth. April twenty sixth is going down. down. Going down. Man. man. Yes. Can't wait, man! I can't wait either. I'm coming down there too. You know that. I'm glad. Got we you. Got, got to get down there. I'm pulling up with you. I'm doing some more interviewing and cutting up with y'all for sure. So, man, up. man, I heard you have your own weed strand. Yeah, I got my own what? weed strand called "This Ain't Trash." Like how did you? How did you yeah, get that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm real. I'm, I'm shout out to my boy, um, Mike the Credit Champ. Okay. Um, you know they got a uh, a thing out there, a weed thing going out there in LA. Jokes is up. Shout out to them. Um, they get signed for this two times too. He finna mm. have his own strand come out wow. over there. Lean from Turkey Leg Hood. Shout out to my guy. He got his own. Got his own strand coming. Uh, out. Well, his shit is out. And um, but, but ain't Lynn ain't with Turkey Leg Hood. No I mean, more? you know, he's still part of. It. You know, he's still married to it, but he ain't running. They fired that motherfucker. But yeah, that was crazy. You, yeah. you, get, you get your ass out that of here. That was crazy. So now he, he running it now. Running now. He cooking oysters. <laughs> but it's okay. He gonna bounce back. He gonna bounce a real, back. You know, a real nigga gonna always bounce back. But the main thing is that they still married and they good. For now. Ain't no good. <laughs> ain't no good. Ain't no goddamn way. You fire me and we still good. It's, Shit. it's problems, ain't it? Shit. It's gonna be some big problems. Going to jail. <laughs> I'm going to jail. <laughs> That nigga crazy. It's gonna be all over new, boy. That nigga dub a motherfucker. That man. nigga cut uh, off. You know how black people Then you, you lose it all that way, then. No, I won't. No, nah, you're hustling. Because you know, cause you know she ain't gonna go around there and press charges. <laughs> but City can pick it up. Mm, shit, it's ways around that. <laughs> if she gonna go to court, no case. <laughs> Ooh, that's what it's like. She gonna go to court, no case. Did, was there anything on that list I sent you? Yeah, hold on. So, okay. No, so the weed strand will it be also? I know Texas, it ain't legal. When it will be, it will be everywhere. Okay, like, but I, got, no, I, I got one of them ones. Texas definitely coming. Because Duro, Duro said that he, just he, did his. he did his, and he said they did something where you can even order it online and ship it anywhere, his including Texas. Well, his ain't weed, then. <laughs> Shout out to the road, but he ain't got that pie out. He you said got it is. Oh. I got that he motherfucker. Said it is. You can't ship this. You can smell it through anything. I can't ship this. <laughs> I'm telling you that right now. You bet not. You bet not. No. <laughs> <laughs>